Hi, I'm artist and author Julie Pritchard. Grab your shopping list because today I'm going to cover all of my favorite paintbrushes. It's super hard to find a reliable paintbrush when you're shopping online because online they all work the same and you don't know how each one will perform. But I'm here today to tell you my non-sponsored, personal, tried and true favorites that I've been using over the years. First up are the Royal Soft Grip brushes. I have students worldwide taking my online workshops and I like this brush because it is affordable and pretty readily available. You can get this on almost all of the um, very popular websites that sell art supplies, also directly from the company as well as on Amazon in certain sizes. My favorite size and the size that I use most commonly is the SG700 three quarter inch. These bristles hold up to a lot of abuse. I am not known to be a gentle painter. I would qualify myself as a very aggressive painter. And these hold up even when sitting in water for a long time. They are reasonably priced and I like this brush a lot. Just for comparison, this is also an SG700. This is the one inch size. So you can see the difference here in the size relation. I just finished a 36 by 48 inch painting and these sizes work great. I also use this three quarter inch on 16 by 20s and smaller things. It's a really nice size. If you wanna get smaller in the SG700, just for comparison, this is a half inch. So here you can see the half inch, the three quarter inch and the one inch here side by side. I'm going to put all of the links to these where I buy them on my website for you to, for you uh, for your convenience. The three quarter inch SG950 is available also on art supply websites. I like this tip to give a little uh, variation. Here's for comparison. And then there's also some filberts. They are the SG250. Fifty, and this I think is a number eight. So it's always good to have a variety of different brush shapes in your painting so that you can give your marks a variety in the painting. Next up are these wood handled brushes from Princeton. I'm putting these on the list because they are also reasonably priced and affordable. Problem is, is they do not hold up as well as the Royal Soft Grip brushes do to my aggressive style of painting. You can see when these sit in water a long time, they start to um, kind of, I don't know, decompose around here. And then what happens is the glue fails and the tip comes off. Of course, you can repair them. It's a nice alternative if you can't get your hands on the Royal Soft Grip. And I do like the length of these brushes because if you hold your brushes in a different style than you normally do, you can also vary the marks in your painting. Everybody needs some brushes that you're going to take care of, brushes that you're going to baby, brushes that are going to be used for detail work. And these are my two favorites. This is a Blick Masterstroke Golden Taclon. You can see this is the half inch, really nice bristles hold their shape very well. I use this to getting cutting around edges and things like this. This brush is a little more pricey than these soft grip, but it's really nice. And I think everybody needs brushes like this in their collection. If you cruise around the Royal Soft Grip website, you're going to find these Royal Sable Tech, also by the same company. And the company is Langnickel, uh, same company as the Royal Soft Grip brushes. This is the L9 5020 Filbert number 10. And I just want to put this out here so that you can see its size against the SG700 one inch. So again, this is a brush that I would use in final stages of the painting, and it's a brush that I would not leave sitting in the water very long. I'd take care, really nice care of this one. Next up on the heavy duty brush tour is the Blick Mega Brush Nylon Filbert. This is a size number 30. You can find these on the Blick website under the golden Taclon heading. Uh, again, a lot of people have problems with brushes that you buy online and with bristles falling out and making a mess in your paintings. This is not the case on this brush. It's a really nice, hefty, well-made brush. They do cost a little bit more money, but you have a lot more brush here. Finally, I turn to the home store for the Purdy Cub Brush. 
These brushes are the brushes that you could use to spread a lot of paint much quickly. Um, these are also the brushes that I use to apply varnish onto my painting in a circular motion like this. This I believe is a three inch, this is a two inch. These again are sold at the home improvement stores. They hold up nicely. Again, they're very well made. Take really good care when you're cleaning these brushes to make sure that you get all the paint out of the inside here and they will last you a long time. Once again, I'm Julie Pritchard and I have a lot of affordable online workshops on my website, juliepritchard.com. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your likes, your comments, and your follows. I'll see you next week with another free video. Until then, stay well.